There is no doubt at all that Darwin was right, that evolution happened, that we are descended from um, simpler animals, that we're descended from bacteria ultimately, that we, ha we are cousins of chimpanzees, cousins of monkeys. Darwin wasn't right about everything. I mean, he got his genetics wrong. Uh, there wasn't enough about, known about genetics at the time. But the essential point that we are direct cousins of monkeys and kangaroos and octopuses and bacteria is beyond all possible doubt. If you look at the way animals are dispersed on islands, on continents, they are in exactly the places you'd expect them to be if evolution had happened. Why are the islands around South America populated by animals that are South American except with minor variations. It's exactly the way you'd expect if animals occasionally drift across from the continent to an island and then start evolving, start changing once they get there. Um, it's not the way it would be if God had gone around uh, creating animals wherever he felt like. Why on earth would he deliberately create animals in exactly the places where he would have created them in order to give the false impression that evolution had happened. And that's one kind of um, knockdown evidence. Another kind is if you look comparatively at different animals, especially biochemically. If you look at molecules in, uh, and how they differ from animal to animal, or from plant to plant for that matter, you find a hierarchical pattern of resemblance which only makes sense if you assume that it's a family tree. What we're looking at here is a pedigree. Everything, all the evidence, points to this being a pedigree. And once again, the only way you could save your creationism is to assume that God deliberately deceived us by planting molecules in exactly the places in the animal kingdom you would expect to see them if evolution had happened.